I'm here today, honored to be speaking with preeminent author and climate activist Bill McKibben, who's even the winner of the Sophie Prize for Climate Activism and co-founder of 350.org. Thank you for being here. Well, can you explain briefly why the group is called 350.org sure. and what that means for our planet? Well, 350 is the most important number on Earth, but nobody knew it until about five years ago. In 2008, our most important climate scientist at NASA, led by a man named Jim Hansen, published a series of papers showing that the most carbon we could safely have in the atmosphere was 350 parts per million. The problem is we've already burned so much coal and gas and oil and put so much carbon in the atmosphere that we're past that. We're at about 400 parts per million and it goes up about two parts per million per year. That carbon traps heat that would otherwise escape back out to space. It's why the Arctic is melting. It's why the temperature is rising. It's why we see more drought and more flood all the time. So our job is to stop that rise in carbon. Our job is to get our society off coal and gas and oil just as fast as we can. You are talking with universities and colleges. You're organizing about divestment of the fossil fuel industry. Why divestment? Well, one of the ways that we can persuade the fossil fuel industry is to stop blocking progress, to stop using its financial weight in Washington and other capitals to keep change from happening. One way to do that is to say we're not going to participate with you financially. Our universities, just as we did around South Africa under apartheid a quarter century ago, don't want to do any business with you anymore. We can't bankrupt Exxon by doing that, but we can politically You've spoken to churches. You've said this is the largest social justice issue that mm -hmm. we'll ever face, that we've ever faced. As you know, though, it can seem so enormous that we get numb and we think we can't yes. do anything. Why should every family be concerned and become a part of the solution to this? Well, because every, this is the one issue that there's ever been that's going to affect every family and every generation of every family for thousands of years. window of opportunity here is pretty short. The window is pretty short, and it's, I'm afraid, closing. There are scientists who think we've waited too long to get started. The best science indicates that we can no longer stop global warming. We've already raised the planet's temperature almost two degrees Fahrenheit, but we can perhaps still keep it from getting utterly out of control only if we get away from it. In this movement, in this work that you do, in this volunteering that you do, what role does faith play for you? Well, um, I'm a Methodist. Faith, um, among other things, allows us on dark days to hope that um, uh, if we do everything that we possibly can do, that the world might not stop that. Thank you so much for talking with us. And if you would like to add, I saw you have a new book coming out in September. I oh, I do a book coming out. Oil and honey. Oil and honey, it's called, but much more important for people to go to 350.org and just get involved in the place. Thank you so much.